Today, Peppa and George have decided to dress up in Mummy and Daddy Pig's grown-up clothes. Gosh, what are these two <laughs> grown-ups doing in our bedroom? I'm not a grown-up. I'm Peppa and that is George. Well, you both look very lovely. But why are you wearing our clothes? We want to choose our own clothes today. Whoa! <laughs> well, you do look very grown up. But I think our clothes might be a bit too big for you. Yes, these are a bit too big. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> these clothes fit much better. Peppa and George have decided to wear their own clothes instead. <laughs> Now, you need to make sure you choose the right clothes for the weather. Today, it is very sunny and hot. Oh. <laughs> Do you think those are good clothes for a sunny day? Um, no. They're a bit too hot. And a bit too heavy. <laughs> Pepper and George have found some summery clothes to wear. That's much better. Now you also need to choose the right clothes for what you're going to do today. We're going to play group. But first we want to jump in muddy puddles. Puddles! Oh dear. <laughs> Pepper and George aren't wearing the right shoes for jumping in muddy puddles. Do you think you should wear boots instead? I think we should wear boots instead. Ho, ho, ho. Splendid idea. <laughs> Lovely. Are we ready to go? Almost. I just want to try on a few more things. Bonjour, children. Wow! What beautiful <laughs> outfits you have on Pepper and George! They picked them all by themselves. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> and those boots. If you want to jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Madam mm. Gazelle. Of course! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping in muddy puddles. I suppose it is lucky I brought my boots today as well. <laughs> today, Pepper and George are going for a picnic with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Nearly there! <laughs> it's Pepper's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you okay, Pepper? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic, but they won't fit. Hmm. Do you need all of your toys? Uh, I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Pepper? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Pepper, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Pepper? Um... We need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Got the blanket. Ah. Do we need 
need anything else, Peppa? Hmm. We need cups for our orange juice. Well done, Peppa. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Peppa. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Peppa has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Peppa's picnic and Peppa loved packing it for this morning. And Peppa is having some delicious breakfast. What's happened to the cereal? <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> April Fools? What's that? Today is April Fool's Day. It's a day where people make each other laugh by playing silly jokes. Like I just did with your cereal. I like silly jokes. <coughs> Can we do one on Daddy? <coughs> That's a great idea. Daddy Pig is reading on the sofa, but Mummy Pig and Peppa have come to play a joke on him. Could you please pass my glasses, Mummy Pig? Of course. <laughs> Peppa and Mummy Pig are playing a joke on Daddy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange. These glasses have made it even harder to see. April Fools! <laughs> <Fools. laughs> <laughs> oh, these are joke glasses. Very funny. But you won't be able to play another joke on me. I am much too clever for that. Peppa <laughs> is playing another joke on Daddy Pig. Oh, no. Huh? I can't open this tube of crisps. Can you help me, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. Hmm? Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That gave me a fright. <laughs> April, April Fools! <laughs> you got me again, Peppa. Well done. <laughs> Would you like to help me play an April Fool's Day joke on Mummy Pig, Peppa? <laughs> Peppa and her family have finished mm. dinner and are now eating dessert. <laughs> Aha! Me and Peppa have made a tasty chocolate cake for dessert, haven't we, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> How lovely! It looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> My fork doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Try with your hands. Peppa and Daddy are playing a joke on Mummy Pig. <gasps> this isn't a cake. This is a sponge with icing on it. April, April Fools! <laughs> <laughs> what a clever joke. That reminds me. George brought some biscuits for you, Peppa. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, George. I love biscuits. <laughs> April Fools! Peppa loves April Fools Day. Peppa and her friends are going to play on the seesaw. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. Bull? Just finishing fixing the seesaw, Daddy Pig. There, now it's safe as houses and ready to go. Hooray! Peppa loves playing on the seesaw. Will you play with me, Mr. Bull? It's fun. Me? Why not? It is fixed and ready after all. Wee! Ha ha ha! Well, that was fun. How are you going to get down? You need to go up so Peppa can come down. Oh, like this. <laughs> Mr. Bull is stuck at the bottom of the seesaw. Mr. Bull is a grown-up and Peppa is small. 
solved, so the seesaw won't balance. You need something heavy on Pepper's side. Blimey, how do you know that? I am a clever clogs. <laughs> Righto then. Pepper's backpack will make ah. her heavier. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Bull is still stuck oh. at the bottom of the seesaw. I suppose it's good fun at the bottom, too. What a cracking view of the grass. <laughs> we need another grown-up to play with Mr. Bull. Meow. Hmm. I wonder where we can find another grown-up. You're a grown-up, Daddy. Oh, yes, so I am. I'll play with you, Mr. Bull. Ah. Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy Pig Whoa. and Mr. Bull are both grown-ups. So the seesaw is balanced and goes up and down. Stop! Are you not having fun, Mr. Bull? I'm having a brilliant time. I just wanted to see the view. Okie dokie, let's go! Whee! Up into the sky! Hello, sun! Hello, grass! Hello, clouds! <laughs> Hello, pepper! Almost got you! Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata and get the treats inside because today Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra oh. happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! Aha! Oh. 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 I can't make the flower. I will help you. <laughs> mm. This is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom <laughs> looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole. Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados, and you eat it with carrots or <gasps> cucumber or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. 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 <laughs> Madame Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh! Mmm! Guacamole! Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm! Delicious! Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Pepper has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. 
Peppa is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really enjoying... Peppa and her family are watching a film at the cinema. Mummy, I need to go to the toilet. OK, Peppa, we'll go to the one just outside. We're just going to the toilet. The toilet? Good idea. Shh. <laughs> Oops. Oh, dear. The toilet is closed for cleaning. But I really need to go. There's a public toilet just down the road. Follow me, everyone. Tiny show. Peppa and her family have found a ah. toilet. Here's the toilet, Peppa. Let's join the queue. Mm. I'm afraid the queue starts over there. <gasps> but the queue for the toilet is very, very long. Sure, I can wait that long. Hmm. There's a toilet in the supermarket. Let's try there. Pepper, Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, and George look everywhere for a toilet. They try the supermarket. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh! They try the zoo. Ah! Sorry, Peppa. This toilet needs fixing. Oh! They even try a toilet shop. Ooh, uh -huh. I'm sorry, but these toilets are for display purposes only. There are no toilets anywhere. <laughs> Oh dear, now I need the toilet too. So do I. <laughs> Look, the cinema toilet is open again. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> you. Finally, Peppa and her family are back to watch the film. <gasps> but now the film has ended. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to watch it from the start. Does anyone need the toilet first? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops. Sorry, Peppa. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly, Mr Bull. No running. Sorry again. Mr Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is... Everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh! Ooh. Have a splendid time, Mr Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Right you are, Peppa! Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go! 
and Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Pepper. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> oh. Finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's a draw! Everybody wins! Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Uh -huh. <coughs> no splashing! <laughs> Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. <laughs> No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Baby Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. Hmm. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the museum. Look, George, this dinosaur has a sister. And a mummy. And a daddy. It's a whole family of dinosaurs. <laughs> Peppa loves the museum, but it is now closed. Thanks for coming. See you soon. But I don't want to leave. We don't have to leave, Peppa. Tonight, we are having a sleepover at the museum. Ooh. Hooray! Oh. Oh. What shall we do first on our sleepover? Hmm. Let's have a midnight feast. 
Yum, yum. Dig in, everyone. Huh? Oh, this orange is rather hard. Oh. All the food in the midnight feast is made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> what shall we do next, Pepper? Huh? Pepper? Mummy Pig can't see where Pepper has gone. Here I am. <laughs> I am a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Grrr. Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Uh, I mean a woolly mammoth. <laughs> Everyone is having lots of fun running away from the woolly mammoth. But all this chasing has made everyone quite tired. I think it's time for bed. Let's find a nice spot to go to sleep. <laughs> Good night, everyone. It is now morning and lots of visitors have come to the museum. What a great mammoth! It looks so lifelike! Everyone thinks Peppa and her family are part of the museum. Uh, huh? What's going on? Uh. Well, that's not a Viking! That's Peppa! Oh dear, it looks like we didn't just sleep over at the museum. But we overslept. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh dear, the car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry, I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr. Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Peppa like being towed. Hmm. Aha! Oh dear. I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh, good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh. Oh dear. How long will it take? It will take oh, as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. Whee! Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. Oh. But motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this bus? <laughs> ah. Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. Ah. It's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! 
Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Peppa's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. 